Hey guys, how's it going? You in here. And as you can see from the background, this is night 7, the final night of Five Nights at Dominic's, the original game. And I'm here to give you some tips and tricks, and some things you should look out if you ever want to do this. I don't recommend it, because frankly it will take you a while. And you can just see, you can see the cutscene right here. So, don't do it, but if you want to do it, here's some tricks. First of all, there will be some things that will lead to your death. First of all, um, the door where uh, Deji will come out will sometimes flick down and it just won't close. You'll have to flick it twice. That might lead to death. Also, when you're putting your hand, your mouse down to flick the camera down or up, uh, mostly down though, uh, it will double flick. So while you're trying to put it down, you might actually go to the slit underneath it. A tiny little slit underneath it, which will cause to it to flip back up, and that can also lead to death. Another thing that killed me a few times was when you try to shine the light on Keji. It's not immediately, it's not immediate. It isn't, like, instant, so there's a chance that he can jump scare you while you're shining the light. So that will lead to some deaths. Um, for who I recommend worrying about the most, you should worry about Millie the most. Due to the fact that, you know, she is big on eating her food. Like, she chomps through that thing at the speed of light. After that, it's Keji, and then Deji, and then Dominic. Dominic doesn't do anything. He just, like, barely jump scares me. And <laughs> I don't know why. But, you know. And, you know, some more things. Um... Frankly, um, it's not, it's, it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take a lot of time, actually, due to the fact of this was incredibly, and I mean incredibly difficult to complete, because there's a lot of factors moving in here, and it was hard, but it's here for you guys. I persevered because, frankly, I like this channel. Not like it. I love this channel. I love you all, and thank you for all the support. This is also going to be the 100 sub special. You probably already seen that from the title, but yeah. And I'm gonna go into Dolor a little bit. Um, you'll see real soon that the blue kid gets bitten half by a golden suit. So, I don't really know what that's about. I think that's the incident that causes the boy to possess the suit. And then his brother comes back later. I'm guessing the green guy is his brother. I don't know, though. It just would make sense. Since this is a FNAF fan game made by Ben, it would make sense that it's the brother. But who knows? So, he comes back. I don't, I don't know why he gets into the suit. Maybe that red ball has something to do with it. I don't really know. But, hey... And then he gets in the suit, gets crunched, blah, 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 blah. So, that's my guess on the lore. I, I'm not good at lore, guys. Okay, I'm not good at it. I don't really know what's going on in the lore. I'm just taking wild guesses. I think that ball is, like, evil, maybe. I don't really know. But, um, my strategy to beating this was flick between Millie's camera and Keji's camera. Keji, because he doesn't make any noise whatsoever. Keji is completely silent, and so is Millie. Um, because, you know, she's getting her food, she's getting fed. So, just flick between those cameras, and the second you see Keji leave, go try to flash your light on him. If there's someone else coming, it depends who will, who's attacking you. If it's Dominic, go for Keji, then shut the door, go for Millie. If it's Deji, on the other hand, close the door on Deji, then go for Keji, because De Deji just jumps in there the second he can. And, of course, feed Millie. Feed Millie is, like, your number one concern. Just, like, feed her, bro. Because, like, if you don't, you're dead. 
It's kind of how it rolls. But yeah, that's my, that's how I did it. It was an experience. Also, for all you the people wondering where we were, we're coming back. I just figured out how to use an editing software. This is like, I'm using my editing software right now. I actually edited this video, so I'm going to try and make some more videos. Please recommend stuff to us. Also, for uh, people who liked the Five Nights at Dominic's, um, there's a lot more videos coming up. So, yeah. For, and I'll try to go into some lore when I beat the 420s. Whenever I beat the 420s, the, however many 20s there are, um, I'll make sure to go into the lore as much as I can. I'm not really good with lore, like I said, but I'll try my best, okay? And um, I think it's right about time that I beat the game. I don't know, though. And yeah, I hope you enjoy our 100 sub special, and there'll be more Five Nights at Dominic videos on the way, and continue watching the rest of the video, and this is my original reaction to beating 420 mode. See ya. Show me the freaking cutscene. That was not worth it. The dude got cut in half. Damn, rip. Sad. I don't care. I beat it! Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. Finally! This took me like hours! Alright, guys, we just want to say thank you so much for all the hundred subscribers. We really appreciate it. And Maybe we can get to 100 by the end of the year. Maybe. Yeah, hopefully. Come on, guys. We're going to try to upload as much as we can this summer. We have, uh, we have some more Dominic videos we'd like to post. Um, since we, I finally actually beat the original Dominic, so we're moving on to the second one. And, yeah. Ben, you want to say anything else? Just thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And see you guys next time. Bye! <gasps> Bye!